was looking through my hard drive for a particular photograph and ran across this photo of a belt buckle that I'd done. And that reminded me that I had been wanting to make some new handles for the kitchen cupboards and the drawers. You can see the first one that I've done here. This is pretty much an experiment. I see some changes that I can make and additions to design. What this video is about is the process I went through to get this all together. The primary material that I'm using here is one inch by three sixteenths flat bar steel. This is hot rolled steel. Hot rolled steel is some of the most inexpensive steel available. This particular type of steel has a rolled edge so that the edges are not sharp. 3 16 inch steel is a little heavy for my bench cutters. So here I'm using a fixture that I have made and shown in another video. And I'm going to cut this with the jigsaw. Cutting with a jigsaw is rather slow, but it does give a clean cut. And as you can see here, a good square cut. I want to still use the holes where the previous handles were installed. So I'm copying the position of the holes using these transfer punches. Using the drill press to drill the holes. And then using that piece as a pattern along with the transfer punches. I remember purchasing these probably 30 years ago for around $8. And I just checked the price and it's about $10. Not much inflation there. Using the one inch belt sander to round off the corners. Quick trial run to make sure that the holes match up. Using an odd tip to bring the steel up to it's almost molten so that I can move the steel around. In other words, texturing the steel. This inset photo shows what I'm going for in texturing the steel. Here I'm using a 3 16 inch mild steel disc. If I didn't have this, I could cut out a square or another rectangle or a triangle or do something entirely different, such as the copper on this belt buckle. The texturing is finished. I was going to braise this on from the back, but I could see that it doesn't have any dimension. So I used this pin, and that does give it more dimension. And then cleaning it up on the wire brush, finishing it off with a gloss clear acrylic. The next step for me is to start working on some improvements. I'm getting the process down a little cleaner. I'm anxious to see what new designs I can come up with.